Yeah, let me just start by saying really quickly, I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. Um, this is just a pay it forward. I don't do uh, how to videos. This is just a pay it forward to the one guy I found on YouTube that actually had my problem and helped me fix it. So I didn't have to spend ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, I'm going to try to help some of y'all out there if y'all have the same problem. So, all right, this is the problem. All right, this was the problem. I have a 2012 F-150. Uh, if those tail lights don't look like yours, that's because those are aftermarket. Don't worry, it's it's the same truck. I had that's one of the many things that shows you how far from a mechanic I am. I bought entire new uh, tail lights, uh, not realizing that they didn't come with any wiring. Of course, it's just a uh, you just stick them over the damn sockets and bulbs that are already there. Buying new tail lights does not solve this problem. All right, the problem was. Uh, my right signal was not flashing and when you hit the brakes the lights weren't getting brighter so the brake light and the signal weren't coming on but the running lights were coming on okay so and uh, all my bulbs were good the bulbs were good um, that's the first thing to check uh, some sometimes people think that uh, you see your your two bulbs look good uh, there's an upper one and a bottom one and then there's obviously the little tiny white reverse light when you've checked all those and they all light up it doesn't always mean both your bulbs are good because they have two little balusters inside each bulb. All right. So each bulb, even though it may come on with a light, the other little one might be bad and you do need to replace the bulbs. That's the first thing you check. When you got the little quick flashing signal on one side, it's, it's usually a bulb. Check all your bulbs first. And if you can see that it's one of your tail lights, when it's your flasher or whatever, then just replace both tail lights on that side. Uh, get that problem out of the way. That's the troubleshooting step. All right. Once you've done that, you know, it's not your bulbs. Um, obviously, check your fuses as well. And if you know it's not your bulbs, not your fuses, there's a good chance it's this. It's the BCM body control module. It's a little uh, brain inside your truck that uh, it, it sends to short at some point in that light. And so it's not sending any more power that direction. It's telling it to not work. Um, it's, it's a fault. A fault code and you can buy one of these little scanners right here and plug it into your truck up underneath uh, the the steering column there's a little plug-in area just like the dealers do scan it yourself scan your truck for problems a couple of codes will come up and on mine when I scanned it and I'll show you what I use that there's a there's lots of free apps out there on the App Store I used uh, this one it was just called car scanner but I noticed there's a bunch and they're free and and uh, just pick one with really really high rating and uh, like i said i'll show you which one i picked uh, i went with this one scan for problems took uh it's pretty quick uh get the one get this unit that says bluetooth on it not the one with wi-fi the guy whose youtube video i found that that helped me with this problem he showed this scanner but he said he got the wrong one but apparently it worked for him with the wi-fi one but i would he said use the bluetooth and that seems like the easier way to go because then you, you don't need Wi-Fi anywhere. Just you uh, you get a free app for your phone and then you Bluetooth it to this device when it's plugged into your truck and your truck is running. All right. So your truck's running. You plug in this device, turn it on. And this thing costs uh, 10 bucks. I mean, on Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description to where it is on Amazon. Uh, I hope this helps you. Like I said, I scanned mine and I was hoping for something like BCM, body control module, because that's what the guy told me the problem is. And I was hoping for that to come up on the codes, but it didn't. You know, a couple of codes came up, something about exhaust and a slight leak, but I don't, you know, I'm not having a problem with a leak and I'm not real worried about that. All I did was the codes that did come up, I just hit clear on my phone on the app, cleared the codes, and immediately my damn uh, signal light started working again. Now I'm all good. I, I was reading threads. For months and months, I had this problem like six to eight months. I had no damn signal back there and the brake light wasn't working. Um, and I wasn't going to pay hundreds of dollars for a problem like that. I was damned to figure it out myself. Couldn't find, it was so hard finding a fix for this problem on the internet. Because all the so-called experts, I see guys that obviously have this problem, like me. And there's no answer on all these damn threads. Especially Ford mechanics want you to take it to a dealer if they if they work for the dealer and they're gonna charge you I've seen one guy say he paid 800 bucks for this problem Of course, they want to replace the body control module and probably fucking wiring horn harnesses and everything else They're gonna they're gonna do some work and they're gonna charge you for it out the ass fix it yourself I fixed it for 10 bucks. I've never even changed my own oil. All right, anybody can do this. I hope this helped